Hello friends, today we will implement a full web bridge rectifier on breadboard. To make a full web bridge rectifier, we need a breadboard and a transformer and four diodes, one 1K one resistor and some connecting wires. Here I am using a transformer that gives 9V at the secondary side. You use your transformer according to your requirement. First, we have to identify the primary and secondary side of a transformer. We have to connect the primary side to our AC supply. And we have to connect the secondary side to our circuit. If you don't know how to find primary and secondary side of a transformer, then you can watch our video given in the description of this. Here is the circuit diagram of a full wave bridge rectifier. We are using here 4 diodes, 1 and 4007. First, we have to place these diodes on the breadboard. So, let us place these diodes. First, we have to find out the positive and negative terminal of the diode. The black side of a diode is positive and the silver color side of a diode is negative. First, we will insert the diodes into the breadboard as given in this diagram. So, now here we have inserted the diodes. You can see. Here is our point A, that is this point, and this is B point, so here in the circuit, this is our B point, this is P, this is P, and this is Q, and this is Q. So now we have to connect the secondary terminal across the point A and B, that means across A and B. So we will connect the secondary terminal of this transformer to B and A. Okay, now from this diagram we can see that a 1K resistor is connected between point P and Q. So we will first connect a wire from this point P to any point of breadboard. Then from this point we will connect a 1K resistor and another terminal to point Q that is here. Now we have to measure the output across the resistor. So this is the positive terminal that is this Q point. We will connect a wire here and we will measure the output across these two wires. So I am using here a red wire and the negative terminal is here. That means the another terminal of the resistor. So we will use these two wires. To measure the output and now we have to connect the primary side of the transformer to our AC supply. So I am connecting here a 2 pin plug to insert it into the AC main board and we will observe the output here by using a digital multimeter. So let us connect this plug into the AC supply and after connecting this plug don't touch to the primary side of the transformer because Direct is will be available here. Now connect the positive terminal of the multimeter to this red wire and connect the negative terminal to this red. And we can see the output voltage is around 8 volt. Since I am using a transformer that gives 9 volt at the secondary. So thank you for watching this video. If you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And you can also buy electronics components, projects, boards, modules from our website www.dbbtechnology.com. Thank you.